guys, Mr. TC once again for another idea of housing. Nowadays, it can be very difficult to find a proper gift, right? Especially for some occasion like Mother Days, Father Days, or any type of festivities. So in this project, and once again, using palette wood, I will be showing you how to create a very easy DIY, wi <laughs> DIY, <laughs> DIY wine display. As you can see just right here. Those type of projects can be easily made and doesn't cost that much actually. Especially if you would like to impress some friends, family with some self-made gift. Try this out. And keep in mind that I will be also adding a free plan for you pretty soon if you would like to give it a try and create your own display. And if you're already making your own things at home and you're looking for some exposure, you may want to consider joining us just right here via our DIY and multilingual platform and share your first post. Okay, as always, enough with the talking. And let's make it happen. So for this wine display, and as I said before, I will be using some pallet slat that I previously cut, and those are measuring 38 cm long, 13.5 cm large and 2 cm thick for the 4 glasses display and for the 2 glasses it will be 9.5 cm large. In order to reduce the wood thickness I will be using now my planner but note that here my goal will be just to slightly clean the wood on both sides. Then now that they are all cleaned and flat, I'm checking to make sure that I don't have too much imperfections. Alright, so now that I'm done with the checking, time to group them all on one side and bring the big boys on those table. And when I'm talking about big boys, I'm of course referring about my drill press and my band saw. Remember that I have also provided a few weeks ago a quick and easy tutorial review that you will be able to find showing up just above the screen. To give it a first try, I will be selecting two of the best wooden slats to start making the patterns. To have two symmetrical sides, I will be tracing a line in the middle of each slat. Then using my compass to trace half of a circle. To use the compass, I'm taking here the dimensions I have from one symmetrical side and use it in order to create the half circle. As I already have half of the width, my next step will be to find this time half of the length. As I told you at the beginning, the wood is measuring 38cm long. And divided by 2, it's giving us 19cm. So I'm making just a cross here while waiting to use the drill press. Then I will be also using one glass as a reference to know exactly where to create the openings. And to make the design a little bit fancy, I've decided to create some openings also on each side which will make the design able to hold four glasses. Then after that, you will just have to repeat the same process on the smaller slab. Then, time to set up the band saw to start cutting I will first start here by the half circle to move after that to the openings. Of course, without forgetting the rest of the slat. Here, I will be using the bottle as a reference to find the correct hole saw. In the middle, 
I will be using the 38mm also and for the gap to insert the glasses, the 25mm also. Alright, so let's move to the drip press. And if you decide to make one for yourself, I will advise you to really double check where you are creating the holes because it may not be centered enough. So always double check to avoid losing your design. I will be first creating the different holes for the glasses to move after that to the one in the middle in order to insert the bottle of wine. And now, time to change the hole saw from the 25mm to the 38mm. And keep in mind that the holes in the middle are always easier to make than the other ones. Alright, so now let's give it a try with the bottle. It's looking pretty cool already. And in order to round up a little bit the edges, it's time now to convert the workbench into a router table. And to do so, I will be using my round over bit all over the edges. And also in between the gaps. Of course the gaps to insert the glasses. Then to smooth down a little bit the surface, I will be using some sandpaper. But keep in mind that you will really need to sand in between the gaps in order to remove all the imperfections. Then, using again my favorite wood burning method to give the wood a rustic design. After that, sanding again one more time. Then using a wet towel in order to remove as much as dust as possible. Finally use some wood lacquer in order to highlight the wood burning design. For the second one, I've decided to paint it in white in order to match with the second bottle of wine I found. As I realized that one thing was missing in the first one, I've decided to add just a line of white paint to change a little bit the design. I didn't really want it to only have the wood color. Then for the end, using some spray lacquer, note that the spray lacquer are drying very fast, so you don't have to wait too long in order to take them back. Et voilà! A very nice gift for family, friends and whoever you want. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this project. One of the goals here was to show you another way to recycle, refurbish pallet wood. As usual, you know, crazy about pallets. And if you feel like it, you can also give those away, sell them. If you can make several of those, you can sell them as well. And make sure that you can also give them as a present for family members, for friends, or other people you like. And as you could see in the preview, this was made specially for Mother Day. So as you can imagine, I will be soon packing two of those and sending them to my lovely mom. <laughs> and I can imagine that some of you are looking at this video saying, but man, you are late. You are sending this just right now? Actually, I'm not even late because Mother's Day in France is on the 27th of May. 
those French, always doing things differently. <laughs> I can see some of my friends looking at me, men are gonna... Oh. <laughs> and it's as usual, a pleasure for me to share those ideas with you, to give you another idea of housing. If you would like to support us, we will be of course very happy if you can share our one minute for another idea of housing videos showing just above. If you are new to our lovely channel, consider subscribing just right here before leaving us. Let us know in the comments below what do you think about this project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!